All right, it's time to set up VPN capabilities on our little travel router. Stick around, let me show you how we're gonna do it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Havoc. In this one, we're going to continue our series on the GLINet travel router. The last video, what we ended up doing was unboxing it and going through just the settings and the firmware. Now what we're gonna do in this one is we're going to connect it to a network and we're gonna set up the VPN capabilities with private internet access. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll go ahead and put it up here somewhere. First up, I wanna thank private internet access for powering this video. If you are somebody who uses public Wi-Fi at hotels while traveling or at coffee shops, all of your data is transmitted across an unencrypted network. That's where PIA comes in. All of your data is hidden and protected on their private infrastructure. PIA has a no log policy, so all of your data activity is seen by you and you alone. PIA allows you to change your IP address to one of over 80 countries as well as all 50 US states. This comes in clutch for the gamers out there looking to connect to multiplayer servers in different regions or countries. Sign up to the link in the description of this video to get 83% off and four extra months for free. So to set this up at a location like a hotel or Starbucks, etc., that has public Wi-Fi, we want to set this up as a repeater. So on the main screen, we're going to click under repeater here. We'll click connect. You have the option up here. It says repeater as well. If you click on that, it'll go in here and you can set up the other settings kind of manually. Let's go easy and we'll click repeater. STA is disabled. We'll click connect and then it'll pop up the screen that shows the networks that are available. So go ahead and choose whatever network you want to connect to. And then once you choose that network, it'll probably ask you for a password. You'll need something to connect to that network. Unless it's an open guest network like Marriott Bonvoy, for example, then it won't have a password there. So type in the password for your network. Then if you want it to remember this network for future, so if you would go to like a Marriott, for example, or a Starbucks or something that has the same kind of Wi-Fi name and password, you can click remember there. There's advanced settings if you have other things you need to do, probably like channels, etc. We'll hit apply, and then it's going to say connecting. And now the network will turn green, and you'll see all the information here for your network right in the middle. So now literally we are connected via Wi-Fi to our little GLI net router. That is sharing the Wi-Fi right now off of my home network. And then all the info is gonna go out the home network. What we want to do is also set up our VPN. So for that, we're gonna to go to our VPN dashboard. And like I talked about earlier, I'm gonna use private internet access for my VPN client. To set up our secure VPN connection, we'll click on VPN and then open VPN client. Now, like I talked about earlier, it defaults to NordVPN. If that's your provider, go ahead and click that and go through the wizard, but we're not using that. We're using private internet access. I'll put a link in the description below where you can check PIA out. The cost is awesome. So definitely take a look at that. So we'll click on add manually. And here we're gonna type in a private internet access. And on the right side, you see it says select a file or drag it here. What we need to do is go to private internet access and get a file. So we'll go over and we'll log into our account. We'll click downloads. We'll scroll to the very bottom here and you see where it says open VPN configuration generator. We're gonna click on that. And here we're gonna choose a few settings. So we're gonna go open VPN 2.4 or newer. We're using open WRT. So we're gonna go Linux as our operating system or platform. And you could see all of these VPN servers just in North America that are from private internet access. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the server that we wanna to connect to. And that's what our little travel router will do. It'll connect to that server when it's VPNing. So I usually travel to the East Coast and I like to stream movies, etc. So I'm gonna choose this one, US East Streaming. But obviously choose whatever server, if you're in the US, that you want. Again, I mean, South America, Europe, you know, Asia, there's so many different options here you can get with, with this service. So 
US East, and then we will click Generate. It'll generate a file for us, and we need to add that file back over to our travel router. So back here in the travel router, we'll choose Select a File, and we'll choose that file we just made. And now you can see, once you've added it, it says Upload Successful, and here, username and password, we need to type in our PIA credentials or whatever credentials you log into for your VPN provider. And then once you hit apply, it'll pop up the server you're gonna to connect to, the configuration, you're good to go. What we need to do now is test it. So if we click the three dots, we can click start. And it's yellow, it's connecting. Hopefully it will go green here in a second. And there we are, we are now connected via VPN through private internet access. So any device that connects to our travel router will be automatically piped through a secure VPN. You don't need to set VPN clients up on all your devices, etc. This is one device, does it all. And as we talked about earlier, over on the toggle button settings, we can now toggle VPN on and off because we have it set to open VPN client on and off. So let's go back over here to our main screen and you can see VPN has a little light next to it, it means connected and it's turned on here. Let me toggle that switch and we'll see if it disconnects it. So I just toggled it off, I turned it to the right and look at that, VPN just went off. So let's toggle our VPN back on. Again, I'm just sliding that little button on the side. It's now on and we'll see how long it takes here to pop up that the VPN is connected. So it took about 15 seconds, let's say. So that's pretty darn good. I'm gonna leave it on all the time because I see no reason to turn it off right now. But when I'm actually using the network while I'm out traveling and something pops up that the VPN can't get by it or the network I'm connected to is blocking it, I can easily just turn that off and I don't have to go to all the phones, my family's devices, if I have my little travel NAS with me and configure any clients to turn them off. So even though it shows that we're connected, I wanna make sure and just see, are we really going through that server that we chose through private internet access and that config file? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to privateinternetaccess.com slash what is my IP. And you can see here our connect the IP is that. We chose a East server, so it's Oaxaca in the United States. Look at that, we're going through a private internet access VPN connection without putting a client on our computer. So this is ready for my upcoming vacations. If you took a look at my other video about the travel NAS, you can plug the travel NAS into this travel router via that network cable that came with it and have real high speed connections for uploading and backing up all your files, videos, pictures and stuff while you're on vacation. So make sure you check that video out as well. Man, what a really cool device. If you have any questions about the Barrel AX from GLINet, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can pick this up and also where you can take a look at private internet access. I can't tell you enough how amazing that company is. And if you look around on YouTube, a lot of the YouTubers that specifically make content in the networking and home lab type of niche, they pretty much all use private internet access. So there's something to be said there. It's a great company, great service, and it's really cost effective. If you like this video, super appreciate it. If you like, comment, and subscribe, you know the drill. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.